live right now playing uh, well hang on i'll say it right now there we are edgar winner let's take a free ride good morning double r old school internet radio here we are tuesday morning christmas week nobody ought to be alone uh, huh don't sing robert don't sing don't even think about doing the cheech and sean thing either okay i got you I got you. We're good. Anyways, good morning, Tuesday morning, December the 20th, 2022. Uh, four morning shows left, and after today, only three. No! No! <laughs> right? No! Speaking of being a Yoron, I got to tell you, man, I got sentimental. Uh, Sunday night doing the Cruising Classic show, man, I got a little sentimental. Man, I had mocos and runny eyes, and then I had to go use the restroom. and But then I got over it, and it was all good. But I got a little sentimental there, and I knew I was. I knew. I, I love the Cruising Classic show. Love it. I thank each and every one of y'all who joined me and uh, was part of... Uh, the last cruising classic show. Let me do something here before anything else. Let me see here. We do something here. I'll do something here. I gotta get to work. There we go. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. There we go. We got that situated. So, anyways, like I said, one more time, I want to thank each and every one of y'all, everybody who joined me on that four hour fiasco on the top 50 cruising classic songs of all time. And uh, people have told me, are you going to be playing the recording of it, the pre recording? No, that's why you should have joined. Right, we had a lot of people joining in, man. It was awesome. It really, really was. And what I'm gonna do after I'm done doing my talking, doing the video thing, I'm gonna play for you guys what I, my opinion, was the number one cruising classic song of all time. I'll be playing that right after I'm done talking right here. Let me tell you what happened to me last night. Um, I got these little bubbly kind of water kind of a thing. It's kind of a tube. Where it's got little fishies and stuff and it lights up and it looks really cool at night i bought it like three months ago but one works awesome the other one works whenever it wants to well anyways i got tired of it not wanting to work anymore so i decided to get a hold of amazon and send the thing back right and let me tell you man if you've never been through a process of sending something back through amazon it's a headache. It's a process. It really, really is. Good morning, Chad. I'll get out the Double R Radio Sponsor. Cindy Martinez, Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Double R Radio Sponsor. Cynthia Gonzalez, Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Rosemary Romero. He's a good Tuesday morning. Robert Rivas, have a blessed and beautiful day. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Amiga, and you as well. Well, anyways, um, I call up Amazon, right? Call him up and... Um, well, let me just say this. Good morning, Chad. I got a Kathy Soto. He said, good morning. How are you doing? How's the weather over there? It's cold, Kathy, but it's going to get colder and colder and colder. And I love it. Well, anyways, getting back to my story, I call up Amazon. They always put that person that you can hardly understand their English. It never fails. Thank you for calling Amazon. And I go, uh, did you call me Corazon? No, this is Amazon. And I go, uh, listen, I got this thing I need to send back. Why do I do it? What do I got to do? Do you all send somebody over here? How does this work? Well, first I'm going to need your name. And I go, man, right. then I need your address. Oh, man, I give him the address. Then I need your favorite TV show. What? Okay, I'll give you my favorite TV show. Then I need to know how many times you go poo-poo. What does that have to do with my gift? The hell? Well, maybe twice. Okay, now what problem with with Amazon product? Um, it's just been acting up, man. It turns on when it wants to turn on. It turns off when it wants to turn off. Kind of reminds me of my second wife. Oh, you got bad luck with wives, huh? And I go, yeah, bad luck with wives. Uh, maybe I should have just married a Chinese girl. Maybe I would have liked her fortune cookie better. <laughs> oh, you're not funny. I report you Amazon. No, 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 don't report me Amazon. I'm just playing around. How do I get this thing back? We sent driver over there. Would you like Chinese lunch, 9.95? Why he got there? No, no, don't bring me no Chinese lunch. Just... Tell me what I got to do, man. So I had to go get a box and everything else. Good morning, Chad. I got the double R radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. So I had to go buy this big box. I got to buy the own box, man. I had to go buy U-Haul, right? And uh, <laughs> they got boxes all over the place. I went in there, man, and I said, you know what? I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm going to want this thing. 
you know, Christmas wrapped. You know, I, I'm in the Christmas spirit, so I got the box and, and I went up to the counter and I said, hey, dude, Carnel, uh, do you have anybody that can wrap this thing up for me like Christmas wrapping? He goes, go talk to that guy over there, Beto. he's the Christmas wrapper. I said, all right. I said, hey, dude, dude, Carnel, uh, uh, are, are you the Christmas wrapper? And the guy looks at me. My name is Pedro. You know me well. I'm everybody's Christmas rapping pal. I said, no, dude, I'm not looking for a singer rapper. I'm looking for somebody to wrap this thing up. Oh, okay. You, you got to go talk to that other guy. Hombre, forget it. I just bought the cardboard box, brought it home, put it in there, taped it up, and now I got to wait for the Amazon guy to show up. So uh, from there, let's see what happens. I'm telling you, man, it is a headache and a half. It really, really is. Good morning, Jada Garota. Olga Cervantes, you said, good morning. Stay warm. I'm going to try to. Good morning, Jada Garota. Double R radio sponsor, Olga Herrera, San Antonio, Texas. Let's see what's going on out here, man. Check this out, man. This is embarrassing. San Antonio, Texas. A 32-year-old man was arrested for allegedly assaulting his aunt and striking her with a shovel. Why would you want to hit a woman, especially a family member, with a shovel, right? Crazy, right? I mean, it's not enough that you're a guy. You could probably slap her around and beat her up. I'm not saying that, I, you know, I, I, I don't condone that whatsoever. But really, it took for you to go get a shovel to beat up your tia? Well, anyway, the man's in jail, and there you go. So um, I, I, I don't get it, man. I don't understand why this man would want to beat up his tia by using a shovel. Now, let's see here what else is going on. Now, check this out. A Missouri woman escaped while being in handcuffs and with a police car and stole the police car uh, before um, the officers... Shot at the police car. She pulled over and said, okay, you can go ahead and arrest. Women are slick, man. Y'all women, man. <laughs> How does a woman get out of her handcuffs, right? Some women have really, really thin wrists. And, uh, well, it is what it is. But uh, <laughs> that's daring, man. I've done many daring things in my life. But if I were to be arrested, I wouldn't even think about trying to get out of the handcuffs and steal the police car. That's just not me. That used to be me back in the 20s, when I was in my 20s. Not no more. I don't do that no more. Yeah, let's see here what else I got going on. I think we're good right now. Let's see what else is going on. Check this out. A bartender accidentally... A bartender accidentally informed a woman that her husband was cheating. Whatever happens at a bar stays at a bar. You know, bartenders, I'm telling you, man, bartenders can be your best friends. If you need somebody to talk to, save money, don't go see a psychiatrist. Just go to a bar. Hey, hey bartender, man, let me tell you, man, me vieja, dude, is, I mean, she won't make me homemade tortillas. She won't make me tamales, man. She won't make me anything, man. And the guy's spilling his guts, right? Then the next night, here comes his wife by herself. And then she starts telling the bartender, my viejo, he doesn't want to work, doesn't have any money, always needs Viagra. I'm going to get rid of him. I mean, bartenders hear all the people's deepest secrets, and that's true. So uh, how a bartender can accidentally inform a woman that her husband has been cheating on her by being there with another woman is beside me, but um, I'll let you out. She got played very, she got paid very, very well. That's true. It really, really is. Let me see here. We got, we good, we're good to go. We got over here. We're all good. Now, let's see here. I'll give y'all one more here. Check this out. Crazy story. Burger King is coming out with a new Mexican chicken sandwich. I tell you what, man, if, it, if it's Mexican, it shouldn't be a sandwich. It should be a taco, a burrito, not a sandwich. There's nothing sandwich in Mexican food, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, right? To get a, 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 a chicken patty with pico de gallo, guacamole, between two breads? I don't think so. I want that in a tortilla, pico de gallo, chicken, uh, what else? Uh, guacamole, and whatever else you got to throw in there, man. I don't want that in a sandwich. Well, anyways, Burger King is coming out with a new Mexican chicken sandwich that people are saying isn't Mexican enough. I can imagine going to Burger King, right? Going through the drive to Hey, carnal, uh, what comes in that Mexican chicken sandwich, you say? And the guy's going to go, uh... My name Leroy. Man, I know nothing about that sandwich either. You want it or you don't. 
kind of, uh, how do you know about a Mexican chicken sandwich when you name Leroy? I already told you again. I told you. I said, I know nothing about that sandwich. Either you order it or not. That's it. Man, I can understand. You know, if you're going to be selling Mexican chicken sandwiches, put a Mexicano behind the window. Te voy, Hicar, no pinche sandwich. Está pero pesado. <laughs> you want to hear something like that? You don't want to hear information from Leroy? I don't think so. Uh, Kathy says it's going to be in the 20s this week and coming here into Florida. Man, that's pretty cold up there in Florida. You know, I was. how much time do I have? Let's see here. Uh, I got time for one more. Yesterday, I was watching a documentary, all true, man, it's on Netflix, about these people that went on a cruise ship, and they went on an excursion to a, a volcano, an island that has a volcano. Well, while they were on the island, the volcano decided to explode, and it really burned a lot of people, the ash and everything up in the air, and, I, and, and people were talking about suing and suing. How do you sue a volcano? How do you take the volcano to court is what I want to know. I mean, you go on an island where there's a volcano. What more needs to be said? That thing can erupt at any time. That's what I told my prom date back in 78. <laughs> but we won't go there right now. This is a family show. But anyways, like I said, so these people are now trying to sue the volcano. I don't know how that works, but we're going to have to figure it out. Tell you what. As I was saying earlier, I want to thank each and every one of y'all who joined me this past Sunday night for the top 50 cruising classic songs of all time, man. It was one for the record books. I got a little misty. I got a little shaky there at the end. And I knew it, man. You know, I'm going to miss my cruising classic show. I really, really am. And I knew that was going to happen, especially after a couple of shots and two or three beers. But, by the way, people have been telling me, Robert, so what was the number one song, Robert? What was the number one cruising classic song of all time? It was this one right here. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> I got to tell you all guys, man, before I came in to do the show, I stopped this at this small little place called uh, Margie's or Maggie's. I forgot the name. I had two eggies, frijolitos, papas, some barbacoa, two tortillas, cup of coffee, Bam! It was excellent. It was almost better. It was almost better than that Burger King Mexican sandwich, chicken sandwich, right? Let's get back to the morning show. Orale. <laughs> 